everybody. This is Darren from The Beauty Shop. And if you're like me, uh, most men, you know men love women with some pretty toes, right? And moisturized feet. And if you're looking for uh, perfect pedicure tips, then look no further. Come on in, all right? See, your feet, uh, they need to last you a lifetime, especially if you're a hairstylist or a person who stands on your feet all day. And today, I'm gonna give you Darren's at-home pedicure tips to get those pretty toes. I know those uh, pedicures can get expensive out there when you're done professionally, so I'm gonna give you some tips uh, that you can use at home. So here's some easy tips, some easy natural recipes to help you get those pretty toes and moisturize, nourish, and rejuvenate those tired, overworked feet, all right? So first, you want to remove all the old polish and examine the feet for any disorders, all right? So then you want to soak your feet. Soak your feet for five to 10 minutes in a warm, vibrating foot bath that has a aromatic and disinfectant solution in it. So what? You don't have any? Okay, well, check this out. Uh, you can try this right here. So you want to get you one tablespoon of baking soda, uh, 10 drops of your favorite essential oil, and put it in the foot bath and then soak away, baby. All right, so after your foot bath, uh, you want to remove all the dead skin and, and exfoliate with an exfoliating cream. All right, so be careful, uh, callous skin uh, should be treated with a good moisturizing product, uh, preferably all natural, and then gently buff with an exfoliating tool, all right? So it should never be cut or shaved off. So next, we want to hydrate. Hydrate those cuticles with, with a cream, with a cuticle cream, all right? And then uh, push, push back from the nail plate with an orange wood stick. And after that, we want to trim the toenails and file. Make sure that the corners are gently rounded to prevent them from uh, growing into the corners of the surrounding tissue. You know, that's how we avoid those old pesky ingrown toenails. All right. And now for the good part. We all know what the customer's favorite part of the pedicure is, right? That is the massage, of course. So the highlight of any pedicure is the relaxing foot and leg massage to the knee. So that relaxes tired muscles and promotes circulation, all right? So finally, under the massage, apply your favorite polish. You know, try a French manicure. That's always my favorite, that's always sexy to me. Or if not, uh, try a colorful nail art for some added appeal. So sometimes you might get that customer who feet needs a little extra work, so you may have to exfoliate a little more. So. Here's a way to, uh, to get some extra exfoliation using uh, all natural products. So first of all, you wanna use a loofah sponge to exfoliate the tops, the sides, and the bottom of your feet. So remember to scrub all your toes or in between your toes too. So after drying with a, a fluffy towel, uh, you wanna apply your favorite moisturizer generally, generously, uh, you know, put it all over and then put a thick uh, a heated dryer. Get a thick sock in the dryer. A pair of socks to put in the dryer for uh, for that pampered feeling, right? All right. So here's how to make the exfoliating foot mask. All right. You're gonna need a uh, a half a cup of oatmeal, uh, a half a cup of cornmeal, one half cup of coarse salt, um, a half cup of unscented body lotion, and four tablespoons of aloe vera gel. Now, in a large bowl, you want to combine all the ingredients. You slide your feet into the mixture and rub, beginning at the toes and working your way up to the heel and the ankles. Uh, do one foot at a time, rinsing in a separate bowl of warm water, okay? And that should get you straight. All right, guys, so here's even more uh, fantastic foot and pedicure tips. So if you want uh, an invigorating foot bath, soak your feet in some soapy water that has a, a teaspoon of peppermint extract added to it, and gently scrub your feet and use a uh, pumice stone to smooth out the calluses and the rough skin. You want to prevent corns and calluses? Well, wear good, comfortable footwear that leaves plenty of room for your shoes to wiggle, or plenty of room for your toes to, to wiggle. So you want to walk around in the shoes in the store for about five minutes or so before you decide to buy. And if they're going to hurt your feet, uh, you'll know within the first five minutes. So take note of uh, 
any pinching and uh, if they rub in a particular spot, don't buy them, okay? I don't care how pretty they are. <laughs> All right, so if you want to improve the circulation, uh, elevate your feet for at least 15 minutes a day to help improve the circulation. Your toenails. Trim your toenails with a toenail clipper in a straight or a slightly curved um, shape. Uh, use a file to round the corners and smooth down any rough edges with a, uh, with a file. Exercise. All right, so you want to exercise your feet. Uh, remove your slippers and sit in a chair. Now, press your toes down hard on the floor as if you were uh, making knuckles with your toes, but don't let them curl under, right? So relax and repeat a few times and then sit on the edge of a chair with your heels resting on the floor. Spread the toes wide and then relax them. So you want to repeat this about 10 times. All right, now that should be enough pedicure tips to get those feet looking great and feeling great and you can enjoy them. All right, this is Darren from The Beauty Shop. I hope you enjoyed the content. Take care. Hey, searching for beauty products out there while you're online, well, you always got to be mindful of it because most of today's beauty products contain cheap and toxic ingredients. Hi, I'm Darren Hartman from Darren's Beauty Shop Online, and this is where we promote the business of beauty, health, and style. And today, I want to expose my top three toxic ingredients found in most popular beauty products. So let's get started. So number one on the list is petrolatum and mineral oil. So you probably have some right now in your house. Uh, that gasoline petroleum jelly, e-word, 